y'all. This your boy, Mr. B from Bad Yellow Barbecue, and we out here in Old Town doing it. Brisket. Uh, we'll talk about that more later. Oh, let me show y'all something. Yeah. Y'all see that brisket just marinating? SPG. I'm cooking on a kitchen aid, as y'all can see. Got my little extra charcoal because I don't know how hot it's going to burn. Um, I'm doing a modified menu method, you know, where I dug, dug a little hole. They didn't have no coffee cans. Um, but I'm creating a little barrier here with aluminum foil, so try that, y'all. Just take some aluminum foil and fold it up the flaps, and you go about your business. This thing here, I guess it lifts up, but I ain't gonna need that because I'm slow cooking today, y'all. Uh, let me show you what I got on this table over here. Uh, I always went in with a turkey. I inject it with Creole butter, but nah, that's... <laughs> huh? I need you to edit me out. I edit you out. Be quiet. Uh, got musky chips, man. Let me show y'all. Just put them in aluminum foil. And I got a couple chunks of my heat, so it's just to uh, pump it up that I cut from the house. And uh, can't go nowhere without this. And your lights on. Anyway, we'll be back, y'all, when this thing is uh, good and hot so I can put these briskets on. Uh, or the flattening point. So if y'all know what that is, we're going to talk about it. Hey, y'all, we back. Man, I just want to show y'all a quick tip, man, on <clears throat> what to do with this mesquite, man. Well, any kind of wood chips, man, if you put them on the grill and you don't have uh, wood chunks. Just create your little concoction like this out of aluminum foil. I mean, you can cover it up. And all I'm going to do is cover it up. With, a, with another layer just to make it sturdy take a knife and just poke holes in it so don't let me catch you out there on the uh i'm gonna call myself the barbecue police so we ride ride and see if people uh 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 got they got their wood in uh in water trying to soak soak it in water and stuff like that that's what i'm gonna do we we'll start getting out tickets if you're doing the wrong stuff <laughs> if you follow my channel and you cook it wrong we're gonna find out y'all now nah, you just get a, a, a knife and uh poke holes in it and then you sit it on top of the coal and it'll produce a light smoke. So we're gonna try to get the best smoke ring we can out of this brisket. And then we're gonna go from there. So I'll be back in a minute when this uh, kitchen aid come up to temp. Hopefully it don't burn too hot on me today. I can control it, but we're gonna work from now. Reverse flow. Anyway, we'll be back, y'all. Hey, what's up, y'all? About that time to put this, uh, this brisket on. At about 325 right now. You know the temp's gonna go down when you put the meat on there. Uh, but I'm gonna show y'all something. Actually, I'm gonna show y'all the brisket first. There's different, different cuts of meat. This, my friend, is the point. And what I mean by that is the fat in Just a little piece. Throw that in the cut. This is what you get them burnt ends out of, right? So. I'm not cooking all day, so that's the reason why I cut it. So all this is is a brisket. This piece of meat sits on top of this, this, and you got a, uh, some collagen or fat or whatever they call it going across. So I just trimmed it all down, and I'm gonna let them sit, and then I'm gonna wrap them up once it's done. So y'all stay tuned, man. Oh, check this out. Yeah, <clears throat> probably asking why I got the uh, the vents closed. Uh, got a little air leak right here, so we're gonna see how this tent works. But anyway, we in for the long haul, man. Probably about six or seven hours. We'll see y'all in a little bit. Hey, what's going on, y'all? This your boy, man. About time for me to put this uh ham on. Let me try to get a close up of this right here. Uh, this is what happens when you don't have two picks, man. You take these skewers right here, break them in half. I took scissors and cut them at an angle so I can get the little pointy tips on them. Put my pineapples on there. Let me give you a close-up. I got uh, brown sugar in here, a couple little bits of uh, pineapple. Uh, and we're going to talk for a sec. Then it's time to put this joke on. Dr. Pepper, the key. Once I put it on the grill, I'm going to pour this in the bottom. Not the whole thing, just I'm going to pour it in there. Let my ham sit in that because I don't want my ham to dry out. Injection for a ham. Thanksgiving. I'm going to tell you, the best tool you can get, let me see if I can back this up so you can see me. 
the best two to get is parmalade honey ham. If you like syrup, ham, oh my goodness, fire. And you get the uh, the same people, Tony Saturis. I usually go for the uh, these guys right here. They make the best one to me, Cajun Injector. Um, I brought mine, but they didn't need it, so whatever. Uh, but I'm always by the Cajun Injector flavors. But I couldn't find it, you know, during the last minute shopping. That's my bad. Found my uh, my Parlay Honey Ham. And the other one is the bacon. What is it bacon? Honey bacon. Oh, my goodness. Honey bacon off the chain. If you can find that one or this one, you win it for Thanksgiving. You don't need to know nothing. Inject that joker. Put brown sugar in the bottom. I got a little brown sugar. I don't think I showed you that. But if you can see, I got a little brown sugar now. It's all going to melt. Not putting it on the ham just yet because I wanted to get some smoke. Uh, key tip. Brown sugar. I'm going to go ahead and do this as I put this in. Let y'all look at my brisket too. Brown sugar will cause your, your meat to burn. Let's see here. See if we can put this in here somehow. Let's see if it closes up. Nope. And turn sideways. All right. Like I said, Dr. Pepper. And I'm doing this because this is already a pretty much pre-cooked ham. So I'm just adding some flavor to it. Give it about an hour get some smoke to it and then the rest is history man i'm gonna uh wrap this joker like i said after about an hour hour and a half after getting some smoke let me get y'all close up these briskets time to spritz them Ooh. yeah look at that look at that thing juicy see the juice coming off of that look at this one up here Keep him flipped over. Now it's time to sit him on top. Just like a regular brisket would be. I'm going to spritz them jokers. And we're going to go from there, y'all. Let it sit and do its thing. We'll be back when it's time to wrap my brisket. I'll show y'all what my ham look like. What's up, folks? I'm about to show y'all what brisket look like. Time to wrap them. Check it out. Yeah. See the band test? It ain't ready yet, but I'm about to wrap him because he's about 170. And then we're going to come back. Oh, key ingredient. <coughs> Beef fry. We'll be back, man. Y'all see my hand cooking? We'll be back on... Um, after I wrap them up, we'll talk a little bit about this brisket. All right, y'all, we back, man. I got the uh, <clears throat> the brisket wrap. Add some more uh, Dr. Pepper to my uh, flavor. Moisten the skin a little bit. Keep in mind, I got brown sugar in the bottom, so it's going to be kind of syrupy with this uh, parlay. Armalade or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the ham. Whew. Yeah, that's going to be fire right now. Letting that heat get to it. That's up. Save me some more for later. We'll be back, y'all. Like I said, we're going to find a turkey, man. I might give y'all some uh, tips on that when we get ready to do that. And uh, we'll be back, man. I just got my top over my head, a little charcoal. I'm trying to get the uh, the charcoal smell out of here, and I'm trying to boost up my temps a little bit. It's at 250, but I don't want that charcoal smell on us, so it's open right now. I got my beef broth inside of these. That brisket gonna be real tender, man. I already cut a little 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 piece off, a little end piece, man. We're tasting it, man. That flavor profile crucial. But anyway, we'll be back in a minute. Uh. Show y'all this brisket whilst I take it out. I'm gonna do burn ends with one on y'all. We'll be back. Hey, what's up, y'all, man? We over here getting busy, man. Let me show y'all this little close up. The brisket, about the uh, that's the uh, flat. About to make some burn ends out of that. 
So I'm going to cut him on up and put him back in my little uh, concoction. We'll be back after I cube him up and show you what it looked like. Give me a second. Hey, what's up, y'all? We back, man. I want y'all to see something. Y'all talking smoke ring, man. Y'all say, some of y'all say y'all know what y'all doing. Get y'all close up. I want y'all to see that smoke ring. Woo that smoke ring is ridiculous. Yeah. Let's see here. Top and the bottom. I don't know if you can see it up close. But anyway. We'll be back, man. Like I said, I'm throwing them over here in my uh, my little aluminum foil. We're gonna wrap it up and then uh, put this ah jus on there. Is what they call it. And then let them sit and let them keep doing their thing, man. Today, render down some more. We'll be back, man, with the final product. You better know who's on here, y'all. Check it out. Got this thing going. Yeah. Man, if you never had a fire turkey, man, you might want to get you one, test it out. Uh, yes, that's all I'm going to say, man. Uh, let's see what's going on over here. Got my temps up to uh, 300 degrees. Look at y'all a little sneak peek. Ooh, look at that hell. Don't hate. I know. And the bristle is going. I already chopped up the, uh, the, uh, I got each other here trying to figure out the time on how long to cook this dog on turkey. But anyway, we back, man. I'm show y'all these final pictures, man, and see y'all all y'all way. Happy Thanksgiving from Mr. B, y'all. Back your barbecue. What's up, y'all? We got a sneak peek of uh, our favorite food out here for the men. Burning your baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm eating. Yeah, ain't get it. There we go. We got juice of that here. We ain't even played yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at that juice. Yeah. We're winning over here, y'all. Mm. I'm still chilling on the bishop, man. That's fine, good. That's what left of the ham. You gotta find a picture, man. Like I said, it's your boy, man. I salute y'all. Thanks for you. Thanks for everything I do. And I hope you enjoyed the meal on Thanksgiving. Comment below and let me know what y'all cook, man. Let me see some pictures, man. I'll send you my email address. I'll post my email address on the video. Send me your pictures, man. I wanna see what y'all skills like on, 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 on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do it over there. Yeah. 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 My backyard barbecues and barbecue ass man. This your boy, Mr. B, man. Uh, it is Sunday. I'm back home. I figured I'd do a grand finale for you. Um, talk about my Thanksgiving cook. Had a blast, man. All, all my, uh, my family was down in Orlando. Did a good deal. Um, that kitchen aid grill got too hot on me, man. Had a bunch of air leaks. I couldn't control it. Um, but my brisket, man, oh my goodness, man. That was the first thing to go. So the brisket, the ham, uh, I will say I left it, left it in the, uh, the aluminum pan a little too long, so the bottom of it, because it, if you use, ever use par, parlay, parmalade, whatever it's called, if you ever use that, it's like syrup, man. So after it hits a lot of heat and then the brown sugar, it made the bottom of the pan um, uh, real sticky. And obviously, you know, heat with brown sugar makes for a, a charred surface. So the bot, just the bottom of the ham was charred up. So I just took a knife and s sliced the bottom of it. No issues as you can see in the uh, the picture or the intro um, or even the uh, the final picture, man. You know, the final video where I was showing you all the food that we had. 
Uh, no issues with the ham, man. I got some ham in here. I'm gonna eat some leftovers. I got a little turkey. Uh, key ingredient with that was the Creole butter. Y'all saw us frying the turkey. Um, I'm joke with that, that had to look it up. Every year we had to look up a tip, man, for frying the turkey, man, to see how long it is. And we do this every single year. But shout out to my boy Richie Rich and uh, uh, my partner, Old Ro. Yes, uh, my father in law. Shout out to you uh, for assisting in this, man, making an excellent meal for them guys, man. I'm going to miss y'all. We'll talk about why I said that uh, uh, in the weeks to come. But anyway, man, I hope y'all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, next video coming up will be what we cooked on Saturday. You know, the grand finale to send all your in-laws off, send all your family off, everybody, man, just to send them off, man, uh, uh, with a wonderful time if they happen to be staying with you for, you know, the extended weekend. So we're going to show you all that, man, coming up. Maybe Wednesday, maybe next Sunday. I'm going to try to shoot for Wednesday. Just going to board and ain't got nothing to do. It's holiday season, y'all. So without that, without further ado, like I said, happy belated Thanksgiving to all my barbecue and barbecuettes. Hey, you saw my email address on there. Send me a comment below so I can see your pictures, man. I'd like to see them. I might actually do a little synopsis of if I get enough uh, uh, feedback on your pictures, man. We'll just post them on there and so we can show everybody just how uh, my, my extended barbecue family get down. So, yeah. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos, and holla at your boy.